These are ominous times, and they continue to try our souls. Amid hunger and hardship, President Bola Tinubu has summoned state governors to the presidential villa Abuja. We are there at the crossroads, and therefore no efforts must be spared in arresting the critical situation. Meanwhile, the chairman of the Northern Traditional Rulers Council and Sultan of Sokoto, Mohammed Saad Abubakar III, has decried the deteriorating socioeconomic conditions and the insecurity ravaging the country. He said, Nigeria is sitting on a keg of gunpowder. What more can we say? Yeah, uh, he has um, this attitude of occasionally um, intervening. intervening and speaking the truth to power. I recall that even during the last administration, he complained bitterly about uh, insecurity. Because this has been with us for some time. Uh, it wasn't this administration that invented insecurity. It's been there. Banditry has been very much alive, especially in, uh, in the northwest where the Sultan comes from. So what the Sultan is saying basically is, look, the rulers, our leaders, need to be conscious of the fact that People are going through a lot. People are going through extreme pain at this time. Mm. And Nigerians feel dehumanized because people who ordinarily did not have to beg you for money, people who have self worth, mm. um, who are self regarding. I have now resorted to begging people for money because that, in their view, is the best way they can survive. Mm. It's not what they enjoy doing. Yeah. It's not what they were doing before. But there is an extent to which adversity pushes you. And you tell yourself, ah, maybe I have Jones here. Let me why, ask why him for money. Through this? Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask him for money. Perhaps Jones will show me mercy. Mm -hmm. And then he calls you. God touches your heart. You say, okay, send your account details. You send it. Even when he receives that money, yes, he will experience burst of joy and all that, that that money has hit his account. But there is a sense of inadequacy that yeah. he feels that, ah, me. See, see me. Oh. See me. And it would be difficult for him if, if he faces that situation again to come back to you. It is, ah, this person bailed me out the last time. I don't have to. It will, I, I, it will seem like I'm taking advantage. Let yeah. me not go back to him. Mm. He will then hunt for someone else. <laughs> that's the position that Nigerians... And, and then you ask for how long? Yes, that's the position that Nigerians have found themselves. People who are not lazy but they are finding it difficult to survive in the difficult environment, economic environment that they found themselves. Yeah. Food prices are going up and nobody seems to be able to say, no, this should not go on. And Nigerians are very opportunistic people. Once they hear that ah, the value of the Naira has, has uh, gone down again, they go and quickly change the price of their, their goods and services that have nothing to do with even the dollar. Yeah. You see, yes. For example, what are, why should Gary, for example, is Gary imported? But people won't wait. No, no. Once they see that some other things... I, huh? I wonder if you have seen um, this bagged water, what you call pure water. Yes. The bags are getting smaller. If it is smaller and our people can afford, that one is that has been there for some time. Yeah. Cowbell came up with the idea of putting milk in sachets. When they saw that, ah, people could not afford the big. 18. Uh -huh. You know, so, and people, you can see even Coke these days, they are smaller bottles. Yeah. Ah, so that you don't feel the sense of satisfaction that you used to feel mm -mm. when you were buying the 35 CL and all that. But people, when they have hunger for coke, 
they will still will go and buy that small one. It quenches that one guy a little bit. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So the point that I'm making is our people are going through a lot. This economic uh, reality and our people are exploitative. Yes. A good number of them that's the thing. Somebody was there, ah, down go to uh, cement now eight thousand. I don't know if that is true. Mm. But there has to be Mr President talked about uh, commodity boards and all that. We've got to find a way to rein in prices. There are people who are going haywire. They have no reason at all to come up with the kind of pricing that they are, they are doing. It should be in the past. Even the um, what was used to measure beans, gari, and others. Government used to um, um, approve Do you remember all this Congo and the rest of them. <laughs> they measure gari like this. I said government used to <laughs> your government used to approve the measure that you use in selling gari, in selling grains. What I'm saying is that government has to step in and rein in the the uh, rapidly rising prices so, so, of So you are of, one with of, a, of, uh, with a uh, barista Femi Falano when he went to court the other time and the court ordered government to fix prices. Not too long ago. It's possible to do that to, to, to an extent. I cannot understand why Nigerians just want to take advantage of a bad situation. We have been unfair to ourselves. I was watching my, my friend uh, Oyalowo yesterday. He was emotional on politics tonight. Mm -hmm. oh, it's clear that some people just made up their minds that oh, because we are facing this problem, then prices will just go up anyhow. And they complain the most. Now we have After to. Doing that, they we have to find a way to keep prices stable. We have to do that for the sake of our people. Yeah. If we can keep prices, uh, even exchange rates stable, then this volatility we will not experience it. We must keep exchange rates stable. In South Africa, they found a way to keep exchange rates stable for years. And you can have a situation in which you now bring dollars. You say you want to buy anything. Or, or you have a hotel somewhere, you say people should pay in dollars. It is crazy. I don't know anywhere. Where, it's not our currency. The dollar is not our currency. Mm. People should be made to do transactions in our currency. The CBM must find the courage to say in Nigeria, mm -hmm. if they are doing it in South Africa, why can't we do it here? The CBM must find the courage to say no. Transactions in the, the dollar in our country is that must what? stop. Is that Lord? Because it's at the root of all of this uh, 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 craze for the dollar. I mean, it's, it's unusual. Ibn Abba, can we quickly draw a parallel with what's going on in Venezuela? You, you've heard about it. If the president has summoned 36 state governors, you are wondering what Venezuelans are going through <laughs> now as we speak. As a matter of fact, this um, economic crunch has taken over the world, is everywhere. I saw a particular video, I can't mention it because I don't know uh, the veracity of it. There was a very strong protest from a particular country that is supposed to be a developed country mm. concerning the hike in food, uh, food, food prices. prices. But, then, but then again, in all of this that we are talking about, I think there should be a very immediate intervention from the Nigerian Price Control Board. There should be a level, or a level where the government can weigh in and put, peg some prices mm. that this is what this should cost and it shouldn't go. We did it before in the going years. We can do it again because in, in 1977. Like, like, like BKO said, I mean, what changed that you're going to be, I mean, recently we bought a bag of cement for 7,200. So what changed mm. that it went up from Meanwhile, two weeks prior... You think that virtually yes. all, all the raw materials well, are imported? Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the price control board must weigh in on this. They, I mean, there has to be a point where they can put... They can peg the prices of some commodities. Yes. That this is it. And people should abide by it. And then again, if they can fish out the people who are hoarding all these goods, they are hoarding. There was a particular lady that um, she sold some of her goods and she was not... Telling somebody that ah she didn't know that the the price had changed in the market mm. that she ah. sold at a loss. I said, what do you mean by you sold at a loss? When you bought it, was the price as high as what it yeah. is in the market yeah. now? Yeah. 
So why are you? So people are like it's that. Old stock that they are yes. selling and, yes. they are and they are eating. exactly. It's unfortunate. It, it, it's terrible. What are people are doing? It's unfortunate. To, to All right. Um, so put simply, you expect the number one citizen to tell governors, gentlemen, um, we are in this together. Yes, and they, they have to realize that a country is not run by an individual. Yeah. Yeah, a country is not run by an individual. You see, what Governor um, Abiodun has done is what I expect every governor in our country to do. Exactly. Because they, seen, they have the capacity. They have it. They were even given money to do it. They've, given, they've received two billion each. That one, none of them can deny. So they've got to, first of all, no one is saying, oh, palliative is the solution. No. No, no. Palliative is just a means what it of is. pushing in the and effect. Intervention. Now, yeah. And then the, the um, uh, subsidy awards that some governors and even the federal government instituted, they have to continue so that the worker can take extra money apart from his salary. Some workers in Abuja and other they've parked their vehicles for long because mm -hmm. they can't afford uh, to fill their tanks yeah, and all yeah. that. So now if you continue these cash awards that you have instituted, and the federal government should lead the way. It should set the right example. Once you do that, it will also be able it will help people to, to meet some of their needs. That's what we are saying. No one is saying, oh, and uh, you want to run the economy by palliatives. No, nobody ever said that. But at a time of critical need, you have to be there for our people. That's what I, I expect I, the president to tell now? these governors. Mm. Yeah. Tell each of these governors because they are earning a lot more than they used to earn. Yeah. Let us see the impact. Some of them have ministries talking about social welfare and all that. Uh, but we do uh, not see what those uh, ministries I, are doing. I, I hear we must go. Time is the master. Mm. But let's uh, thank you very kindly for coming. You've been about Dixon. Many it's thanks. It's always a pleasure. Biko, many thanks thank for you, your time. Thank you. So that's.